Oh. Yeah, right? The shit we go through to make videos for people. I should be close to there. My name's Matt Rice, and I have a problem. The first step is admitting you have a problem. The second step is admitting that you're not gonna solve it, and you don't care, because it's probably the best problem I've ever had. We're buying another car today! Again, <laughs> we haven't even gotten, we're literally, the truck is on the trailer from yesterday. We're going to the shop right now to drop the truck off, because I woke up this morning before I even had a coffee before I did anything today a deal popped up on Facebook talked to the guy ended up knowing the guy and it's one of them deals where like everybody's rushing like oh we got to get there first person here with cash blah, blah 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 well I happen to know the dude so I was like how about I just give you the money right now it's 2022 you do this electronically bam done money's done I bought the car never even looked at it saw one picture of it but we're gonna go buy it in the car today. This one's a little bit further away. We gotta go up to Jersey. We gotta go up and see the Dirty Jersey people. This one is most likely, definitely gonna be just purely go up there, get it, maybe, you know, clean it up a slight bit. It's a race car roller. It's just gonna be for sale. Like I was saying in the last video, I need to, to make some money. I need to get some funds going for upcoming stuff. One of which being the truck that we're towing behind us. So let's go over there, unload it, and go to New Jersey and get another car today. Two days in a row, two new vehicles, two new videos in a row, three new videos if you count PRI. We're just, we're on a roll right now. We're gonna finish out 2022 very, very strong. And I'm super excited because anytime I get to go pick up a new vehicle, it's just a fun time anyway. And this one, is gonna be one that you guys can have. It's gonna be up on Facebook. We're gonna waffle it off. It will be the jump start to your next project. It's a win, 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 win. Everybody wins, everyone's happy. Let's go do it. Now we gotta fight the cold and try to get this truck to start. So hopefully that works out. Old carbureted trucks are fun. Oh girl! Oh girl, I love it! This thing's gonna be a pain in my ass, but I do really love this truck. We might make it the new tow truck. I still haven't decided what way we're going with this yet. Single cab, I mean, that makes it kind of hard to beat a tow truck. Sometimes you let it die. We'll get it warmed up, get it off this trailer. It has a hitch on it, we can make it the tow truck. Couldn't carry multiple people, all that kind of stuff. We definitely wouldn't make it a short bed then, because we need all of that back there for storage. We got the truck dropped off. I took a little video because somebody's interested in the white Camaro roller. So it would be nice to see that one leave. But I had to take a little walk around video just to show it to them a little better before they go driving across the country. Now we're off to Jersey. Let's go get another one. Hopefully I didn't do something stupid. This could be either really good or really bad because I sent money and I only saw one picture of the car. I saw one picture, caged, roller, clean title, I'm in. Let's find out how good or bad I did. Hey Matt, why don't you go to New Jersey more often? Cause every time it's this, it's traffic. Can't even get over the damn bridge. Why don't you go to New Jersey, Matt? Cause nobody likes this. People in New Jersey live in traffic. We gotta go further south. New rule, only going south from here on out. 
weather is better, traffic sucks less, they have in and out or not in and out. Uh, what's the place? Cookout. They got cookout. You like cookout? Yeah, I like cookout. Oh, cookout. Three okay. in the morning, fresh burger, hot dog fry. You get like a whole 17 item plate for $7.99 with a large Coke with the good ice. Come on. They don't got that kind of shit in New Jersey. They do got pizza. They got good pizza. We'll give them that. We'll get there eventually. The house is tan and brown. Yeah, so is other every other house on your block. Goodness. We can pull around. Oh, he got some he got some cars back here, but he got some cars. Here we go. The jumpstart your shitbox program about to kick off. Wow. Let's go look at this thing. Yeah, yeah. Well, it was only like two hours, but they closed down half the bridge for some reason. Oh, look, we got bumpers. Yeah, those are bumpers. Sweet. Yeah, it's always hard to take care of a car. It's like you can see when you take it apart, it's all like stock new suspension. Like yeah. it seems like probably an old guy or something. Right. It's solid. I just, like I said, the raffle went off. The guy wanted the cash option. I was like, well, I'm gonna load the car. I have too much stuff. Right. You got too much going on. Yeah. 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 And everything seems to be somewhat decent. Right? The car must have been all over. It started out in uh, close to Delaware, but in Jersey, and then found over in Delaware, and then went to Maryland, and then came back. Right. So. So that's been around. Yeah. Oh look, we got the trunk key and everything. Okay. Uh, okay. It's old, man. It's old. No there. Oh, yeah. All kinds of shit, man. So it's the jump store to shit box program. Yeah, there you That's go. It. Good. Yeah. Fucking race car. Fucking race car. What are you doing? Selling a Camaro? Yeah. And then doing what? Buying something else or what? No, I have another one. You have another one? Yeah, oh, okay. so I have another second. I'm trying to keep up with it. Yeah, I got another second gen, but it's like 25 to 4 mile 8, 4 okay. length. But it needs everything. Yeah, I have my car inside, I'm building it's just like. Nuts. What are you building that side? Can we pee? Yeah, yeah let's pee. I got a little speaker that's in there. I got a lot more on here anyway. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's just a little small block cruiser, pump gas. Right. It's a uh, summit built, blueprinted uh, 383. Nice. But like, Ground off restoration. I like, tuned it at uh, Alfonso's diner down here. Yeah, I made 380 to the back top. Right. So, so cruiser. Yeah, it's just fun. You can yeah, it's full interior. You can get on it. Type two. Uh, yeah, it's not bad. You know Tom K, but he's got a uh, yeah. 418 small block Ford motor on my new, and just do nitrous with a glide. Right. Yeah. I'd like to do a lot of the no prep and shit this year. So yeah, full suspension, coil over front and back, no rear. Um, still waiting on my cage from Team Z. Yeah, I've heard people waiting for three months, three and a half months. So I know I just, I'm just starting right, just, yeah. just wait. Yeah, that's getting there. I like, I like this vibe. So. Yeah, well, that's. I don't know if you remember my original car, Snow White. The Kodak yellow was like 18 different colors, and it was Snow White. Like when I was out racing heavy, but that was right. my original. Uh, Cole helped me with it. It was a 60 nitrous like stock motor, and we went five seconds with that. Motor. Yeah, yeah just with nothing special. Right. So this is gonna kind of like up the ante on that a little bit. I know everybody's getting faster. But oh yeah. If it can go mid to low fives, I'll be happy, man. I want a street car, you know what I mean? Carpet and everything. So. Yeah. Put that like we're gonna have to figure out how to get that in the back of the Tahoe though. Oh yeah, because it's, it's not connected ball. to anything. Yeah, we don't want to lose it on the way. But the firewall is all nice. Look at that. They put the, the heater delete. All this is brand new. All this is brand new. Brand new 
bushings on the control arms. G body, you can cut that out. You can do like the S10, get the travel out of it. The bottom, those bottom control arms look brand new. I can't tell if the steering stuff is new or just painted, but there's new bolts and stuff. This is a really nice starting point. I know it's pretty bare and it's a roller, but it's got an 850 cage. You know, all this stuff you would have to do, like these control arm bushings on all of these, they're all shot. So like all that stuff you would have to do is already done. You could put a motor, trans, drive shaft in this thing, the steering's in the back, we got bumpers. If you wanna put them heavy ass things back on, you can. But this is gonna make a really nice start to a hot rod project for somebody. Yeah, this is, this is gonna be a super, super great start to a project for somebody. And it's, it's got good bones. It's not all rusted out. Let's see. The floors aren't shot, the dash is out. You could, you could put an LS on spray in this thing and run tens easy 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 trust me been there done that but you know has a good cage it's gonna be safe the welds on this don't look like a hot bag of ass looks like somebody you know at least halfway decent did it so that's good i, I really like it like i said this is this one's not for me this is this is for somebody else to get a jump start on a project the jump start your shit box project right here through the floor on the cage that needs, to be, that needs to be welded back in place. But if you can see down there, all right, we got the little panel cut out. Through the floor on the cage. Little panel in there. G body. G bodies are gangster too. They're, they're easy. They're super easy to make work, to make hook. It's a triangulated four link in the rear, just like a Fox body. Yes, they have G body shuffle, but you can counteract that if you want. You know, let me see. Did they do any of that yet? Not yet. They didn't do any like the frame ties or anything, but really a, a decent, even a JEGS anti-roll bar will get the job done. And it's got a title, clean title. I don't know how much of this is Fondo and stuff, but the body looks good, straight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's gonna be a great little project for somebody. The only crazy part is we gotta push it up on the trailer. <laughs> yeah. I hope you brought your pushing legs. I hope it rolls good. I hope it rolls. <laughs> there really ain't nothing to it. It should roll pretty easily. As long as the brake thing suck. The key is going to be do we have like a. put like a block of wood or something? I got so one over. Alright, hold on. And we should be able to hopefully. Everything's alike. Yeah, right. The shit we go through to make videos for me. Why I should be close to there? And we got that block of wood. Yeah, my workout for the day. Yeah, right, mine too. But yeah, you'll see it. So. We'll, we'll have it up. I'll probably, we'll probably put it in the shop tonight. Yeah. And then just take a bunch of pictures because I see like there's new brake lines in the back. Yeah, right? So I'm gonna look. Yeah, I'm gonna look at everything, kind of yeah. list it out, and then we'll jumpstart somebody's ship box project. There you go. So. Somebody will get a badass roller. Hell yeah. So. Man, it's got a cage in it. Oh, we gotta do something with the hood, though. Oh, oh yeah. yeah that was now the question is, will the hood go in here? Oh, uh, angle. On an angle. Ooh. Yeah, man. Yeah, I don't think it's going to. All right, another, another plan of action. Uh, yeah, you have another strap? No. Uh, I didn't think of that. I probably have a little one. If we got a little one, we could just put it on top. Go fender to fender. Yeah, it's close to Christmas. Merry Christmas. In the fender. Not the first time I've had to do this. 
Well, I appreciate it, man. No problem. Thank you. Yes, sir. Keep in touch. All right, let's hit the road. Safe travel. G body baby. Look, you guys know I had to. I'm a G body lover. I love these things. I know what it takes to make them work. They are awesome, awesome cars, especially for somebody who wants to to jumpstart their shitbox program. You'd be hard pressed, I think, to find a better car to start out with. That's why I'm really excited about this because we're gonna have the opportunity for somebody else to have this car and you know, then I'll get to keep up with them. Like, all right, well, how are you doing? You know I mean? You get a motor in, you get a trans. This thing, it's easy. Any small block Chevy will fit in it. Any trans, you know, any Chevy trans, 350, 400, Glide. You literally get an LS, a 5.3, a Junkyard 5.3 on a 100 shot. A trans, a gear maybe. You don't even need a gear. You gotta think, the Dodger went 659, 658 or something, which is a mid 10, I think. And that had a factory 308 gear, a factory 75 rear. So, perfect, perfect starter car. Plus, the body is clean. Although it's not all done up and everything else, it's clean, it's not rusted, it's not rotted. We're gonna go back to the shop, unload it, we'll check out, because I know it's got new control arms, I saw some new brake lines, I think the whole frame is painted, coated, whatever. So, we're gonna go check it out, because I think this little thing right here has an epic amount of potential for somebody to have so also it's really cold outside so i didn't want to stand out there talking about this car forever i could see what it was i could see it's good i paid the money before i even showed up so it's not like i'm backing out of the deal we're here let's get on the trailer and get home so let's get home take a closer look because i'm telling you this thing is going to make somebody a nice little hot rod To cross the bridge to get out of New Jersey? See how bad they want to keep people in New Jersey? Just trying to get out of here. Just trying to get out of New Jersey, they Ten dollars to cross that bridge. We have the same clip right now. And from yesterday. <laughs> from yesterday. In this video. It's playing in the video that's premiering right now. Madness. Never ends. That funk in here. Like literally right there, that's the clip. It's literally the same thing. It's literally us watching the premiere while driving from another project, yeah. Pretty clean deal here. Now that we're in here, we can look at it a little bit better. Not freezing. I'm gonna grab this hood, we'll throw it up on the roof. Like I said, we've got upper and lower control arms. They look new. That doesn't look like a factory spring to me. New ball joints, that's all good. In the rear, there's brake lines that are new. The whole rear axle has new brake lines, just factory stuff, but still. Frame, they painted up there, they didn't paint the whole thing, but that's not a big deal. There's a new brake line there. These lower control arm mounts in the rear look good. They don't look like crap, rusted out crap. Not the best, very best, but definitely not the worst. Like there's definitely surface rust, but it's not a, uh, I think that body mount would be fine. Like you can take that bolt in and put it, take it out, put it back in, that'll be fine. Yeah, they haven't boxed the frame yet or any of that. Like stuff you would do to a G body, box the frame, you know, put the support, all that kind of stuff. You don't have to, but it definitely helps if you want to race very competitively. But if you just want to like run tens in this thing, you don't got to do any of that crap. Yeah, underneath looks very good. Yeah, you can see brand new brake lines on the rear there. It looks like they did a lot of brand new factory parts. So I'm not mad at it. It looks very good. Brand new brake line up front I see. Oh, there's drilled and slotted rotors on it. I didn't notice that because the wheel was full. We got some drilled and slotted rotors on the front. Yeah. So, it's definitely a project. You know, firewall has been all painted. All nice, but this is, like I said, a very good start. Definitely for a guy who maybe doesn't have a drag car or something, this is a great place to start. Um, folks that have drag cars, no drag cars, everything, you know what a G-Body can do. So, oh, brand new windshield too. The windshield's brand new, so I'm assuming that was cracked or something. 
cage looks good. They didn't paint all the way around the cage, but that's not a big deal. You can just tape that off, hit it with some spray paint. It's not the end of the world. We've got front and rear bumpers, some semblance of a dash piece, I think, in there. We've got different trim pieces and different chromes and all that kind of stuff. So it's really a, a blank canvas, but the wonderful thing about this is any small block Chevy, um, I don't know about big blocks. I don't know if they mount on these or not, just because I've never done it. But an LS or a small block Chevy will go right in here. Trans will go right in, you know, and you just build yourself out a nice little race car. So I love it. It's going to be great. The people on the internet are going to go nuts. The YouTube comments are going to be insane. Matt, you bought more junk, blah, blah, blah. I love it. I eat it up. We were la I was laughing so hard when we were riding home and like, the C10 video premiered. Oh we yeah. Just got some, like huge shout out because all the people that are like, man, this is awesome, cool, really appreciate it, support it. I love you guys. It definitely helps me keep going. You know what I mean? It's it's awesome to see. And then there's some that are just like straight haters. So, but I guarantee you, some of them straight haters would be like, man, I want that Malibu. Yeah, well, you can get it. Here it is, guys. I'm not gonna lie, and I should not even say this out loud. Like somebody's supposed to be coming to look at the Camaro this weekend. And if I knew for certain that the Camaro was leaving, I would consider keeping this just to do, like do one of those crazy things. Like, can we run tens for five grand? But we're not doing that. We're just, we're just trying to, trying to keep it moving, make a few bucks. We got, we got nice race car engines to build. We've got stuff to do. We got a C10 to work on. So this is just one of those turn and burns. It's just, I'm, I'm always that guy. If I find a good deal, I want to try to jump on it. And this was a good deal. I've already talked to people who are like, I want the damn thing. So we'll see. We'll see where it goes, how it works out. Next time, I'm not sure what we're going to do. Actually, I had a game plan for the C10 that we were going to do today, but then this came up. Maybe we'll do the C10 game plan tomorrow. And it's just going to be like initial shakedown. I want to see how good of a truck is it. Is it actually can be used as a truck, that kind of stuff, and go from there. Because I did order all of the body panels that I think that we need. They're just not all gonna show up at once. Some of them are a little delayed. So we got some time before we get to body work, so we might as well do some other stuff with it. But I'll catch you guys next time. As always, thank you for tuning in. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening to me ramble on and all of the crazy shenanigans. G-Body, Chevy's the best, maybe you know it. We'll catch you guys next time. At this point, I don't, I don't even know. Because I can tell you when I woke up this morning, this was not at all on the plan. Like this, this was not, I did not wake up today and was like, I'm gonna go to New Jersey and get a G-Body. Like that was not at all on the plan. But it happens. So who, who the hell knows what's gonna happen tomorrow? You guys are just gonna have to see what find out. <laughs> I don't even know anymore. I've submitted a give. All right, let's clean this thing up. Brandon, you wanna start getting some of your pictures?